Okay, we're part two. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I, the telephone was going to fall, and um, I hit end, and that was the end of the first part. So as, sorry about that. Yeah, as you have often uh, heard that in the movies, that's what she said. Here, here we go. Part two, SmackDown report. I, there was just such a good feeling to end uh, to end the show with Cena and AJ Styles going back to the Usos. I think that new generation feeling, and they have become so good with the mic, and they have like that Samoan rap style, the new generation, and you know they could bring it. So, so the fans love it. I, I just want to see <clears throat> more action. Let's talk, but uh, in this situation, I think it, I think it was good. It was good. Yeah. Oh, I got to say, oh, we lost you for a minute. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yes. It was. Don't blame me. it on my wife. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> uh, Emin Rollins, um, will you return the tickets with live music on WrestleMania 34? Would 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 what? Will you return the tickets with live music on WrestleMania 34? I don't know what that well, what I that means. I, I don't quite understand. I don't need. Re no. well, WrestleMania 34 is the biggest show, and now we just have to wait. The fans are expecting a big surprise. We have seen uh, pictures of Batista. We know that Lashley, uh, Bobby Lashley, has officially signed. We have seen on the personal. Twitter account of EC3, a challenge in case it doesn't work out for Cena, his way through fast lane. EC3 has challenged uh, Cena for a WrestleMania moment. Uh, but the question is, uh, what is WWE going to do to get the right combination for WrestleMania 34? How are uh, Ronda Rousey is going to impact uh, uh, WrestleMania 34. We have heard the statements that they're trying to make her uh, Ronda uh, Rowdy, uh, Ronda Rousey, the female version of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, so it, it, it's it's that the right way to go with Ronda Rousey? We will we will find out. I, 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 what I don't want to happen is for creative to try to do so much with her. That it will it will hurt her like they did with Roman Reigns. Too much, too much, too much, too soon. Let the fans breathe in, you know, enjoy it. You know how it is like when you have you sit down at a restaurant and and there's so much food and you just try to eat everything, even if there's good food, you're not gonna enjoy it because you're all over the place. And I think sometimes uh, creative uh, wants to do too much. When they're not supposed to do too much, and when they should do something, like with the Dolph Ziggler situation and the and the Finn Balor and the Nakamura not being in action uh, last week, and then it doesn't happen, so that's when frustration uh, sets in. And we have the opportunity of checking uh, the view of the fans because we do the English version and we do the Spanish. And we get to hear from fans from Japan, from India, from France, from Mexico, from South Central America, from the Caribbean. And, and, you know, you, you, you get to check their minds out and, and see what the customers of wrestling are, are thinking. For the fans in Mexico, by the way, this Sunday, March 4th, I will be doing pay-per-view, uh, 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 pay uh, one of the famous events of AAA. It's called uh, Kings of Kings Reyes de Reyes. Uh, it's going to happen this Sunday, March 4th, from Puebla, Mexico. And uh, it's like 7 Eastern here in the United States. And you can watch it free through the page of Twitch. Through the Twitch page, you could see it uh, for free, 7 o'clock this Sunday. And then later uh, on the Space Network. It's Rey de Reyes uh, from AAA. I will be doing a play-by-play -play and uh, hope that you could join us on the Twitch uh, page. And the fans in South America, in Santiago de Chile, we have in my company in Santiago, we have Austin Aries on the card at the Luxor Disco uh, Discotheque in Santiago, capacity only for 1,500 people. I also low key, that's May uh, 6 today, as we're leaving Orlando with the president of New Generation Championship Wrestling. We had a production meeting, getting ready to set up, and the president of NGCW, uh, uh, and, 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 and uh, they had the, the committee, had a meeting early this morning, and they are going to force Alberto El Patron del Rio to make his first uh, world title defense of the NGCW title against Carlito, Carlito Caribbean Cool. So soon 
We will have the information of the next event to happen in Orlando, Florida. Okay, let's go with more comments, Diana. Mauricio Royal says, Hugo, why Nakamura versus Taos is not the main event of WrestleMania? I used to think, think that the good thing about winning the Royal Rumble is being the main event in WrestleMania. Yeah, and that's what I thought. And I worked for WWE for 70 years, and I was at the beginning, I was part of the creative team. So you're not the only one shocked with this. And, and, and when you start messing with that, then you start insulting the, the intelligence of the fans, and you also start hurting your, uh, your product because that's what people uh, expected. You win the Royal Rumble, you go to the main event. It's, 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 it, it, that, that was it. So uh, the majority of the comments, that's where uh, people were upset. And now with this Cena storyline, a lot of people are worried that this situation is not fair because if something was to happen to that main event, then what's the use of having the Royal Rumble if something happens on the road to WrestleMania and then the big dream match doesn't happen because uh, something else happened on Fastlane. So there's a lot of questions there and we're just gonna have to, to see uh, what happens from here to WrestleMania 34? But I do understand uh, uh, what, what, you, what you're talking about, and I definitely do agree with you guys. Um, Diego Gonzalez says hello from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico in a house. Um, Ta Javi Torres says, is it likely a Rey Mysterio versus John Cena at WrestleMania 34? I, I don't think so, but, uh, you know, we even called out uh, a, 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 a very strong match. I called it the Immortals to have uh, uh, Cena in the ring with Hulk Hogan, with the Undertaker. And I believe what I mentioned, uh, I think I, 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 I mentioned all the two names uh, on, on uh, Ken, uh, Shawn Michaels was one of the other ones. And we said that last night that with the fans being so upset with the creative, a match like that of the Immortals. And somebody said, well, what about if The Undertaker cannot make it? Well, you could always substitute, uh, uh, you know, with Goldberg or, or Mick Foley, but to give the fans an opportunity of having an incredible match, you know, one of those uh, unforgettable WrestleMania moments, and to make it very interesting, the Immortals Fatal Five match is the winner of that on those Legends match of the Fatal uh, uh, Five uh, elimination uh, of the Immortals, the winner will be facing the winner of the Brock Lesnar uh, uh, Roman Reigns Universal title that same night in WrestleMania just to give the fans what, you know, what WrestleMania was all about before and somehow if it wasn't because of the return of Shane and, and some of the legends of our game, you know, we would not have that, that feeling that made WrestleMania, you know, the streak of The Undertaker, those precious moments that made, uh, uh, you know, the brand of, of WrestleMania. Virto Cordero wants to know, are we going to see a match between tri Triple H and Stephanie versus Ronda and Kurt Angle in the future? Well, last night some, something to that nature happened. And uh, I've been complaining about the fact that you have, uh, well, we stated that at the beginning of, the, uh, uh, of this live, uh, Facebook and all these beautiful pages of wrestling. And one of the things I said was, you know, the Stephanie and Triple H, already corporate, they got the fame, Triple H is the game, he's also the big kahuna in WWE. Uh, that was a moment where they had to bring a protege aboard uh, so that person could get the, the, you know, the limelight, the publicity, not them, but I, I, I guess they think that they are the ones to handle that. And to me, sometimes it's unfair because they could be, you know, in the background, you know, managing that talent that needs exposure in a moment where we don't have, you know, a solid, you know, uh, uh, huge superstar that is commanding big ratings and, and that is bringing uh, the brand of WWE uh, to, to, to another level. Yes, we know Roman Reigns is a new face, but, you know, there's the, we have to wait till WrestleMania 34 for that to happen. Meanwhile, you know, you shot the world with the signature of a, uh, 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 UFC star Ronda Rousey, Rowdy Ron, uh, Ronda Rousey, and then uh, uh, all you see is the uh, she she's driving Triple H, you know, uh, uh, through the table, the smack, you know, the slap by uh, Triple H's wife uh, uh, Stephanie, and all of this is good, but not at this moment. 
Stephanie and Triple H, they are already famous. They needed to do this to bring another star aboard to, to create that atmosphere. Alejandra Zeron says, Cena's trying to ruin our dream match. He is turning to be like Reigns and steal the spotlight from AJ and Nakamura. They deserve to have that spotlight, not Cena. Yeah, uh, and I tend to agree with you. I have all the respect in the world for Cena, but I think you have to be very careful. And when and uh, what uh, what happened uh, with Roman Reigns is exactly that. They were very careless. They were trying to push him too fast. The fans didn't buy it, and it has cost them millions of dollars and a long time, you know, to finally have the Undertaker, you know, uh, put him over and John Cena, uh, you know, to to to, in other words, to to make him uh, Roman Reigns the the official new face of the WWE and and, and creative has to to uh, to improve. I mean, not just improve. I'm talking about improving drastically. Hector ah. Santiago says, Cena's going with Taker, people. Give it up. It's going to happen. <laughs> well, uh, if you say so, you know, but uh, uh, that's a long time to go, and they're going with a fast lane storyline. Tonight, as you saw, Cena in one heck of a solid match against AJ Styles, who, by the ah. way, has knocked off John Cena as the, the, the number one seller of merchandise in WWE. Uh, uh, one seller the match tonight. Uh, one more name added to Fastlane. Is this the road to WrestleMania? Fastlane, is Fastlane the road to WrestleMania for Mr. John Cena? We'll soon, we'll find out. Sergio David uh, says, CM Punk in this WrestleMania would drive people crazy. Yeah, he's already driving people crazy without even being announced. He says, we expect a surprise like yes. that. I expect more than just one surprise. And I stated th this before, and I'm going to say it again. If you're, if you're able to spend or invest $100 million, I'm referring to Mr. McMahon, uh, with WrestleMania 34, and, and, and that I... There was a statement by Stephanie made uh, that actually we had it on our pages that said nobody pleases the fans and listens to the fans more than my daddy, Vince McMahon. Uh, do you agree with that? And if you agree with that, well, guess what the fans want for WrestleMania 34? One of the things is CM Punk. And, uh, you know, they wanted to see Daniel Bryan in action. So Stephanie claims that uh, uh, nobody listens to the to the fans more than... Her daddy, well, let's see what happens from here to WrestleMania 34. And Deli Javier says, what about the feud about Daniel Bryan and Shane? It's over or what? We have still seen some hints. We know, or at least WWE, have, they have made us believe that he hasn't signed the contract with WWE. We know that Daniel Bryan wants to get back into the ring. The storyline that we have heard is that the official doctors of WWE will not claim to go into the ring. And Daniel Bryan has stated to everybody, including his wife, that he will be returning to the ring. So if WWE doesn't claim to wrestle, then what's the next step? It will be for him to leave and uh, do it somewhere else. It might be Ring of Honor. It could be New Japan Pro Wrestling. It could be Impact Wrestling. Or it could be in one of my, my productions uh, in South America or around the world. Or Triple A in Mexico, you know. So we at one point we were the ones that shocked the world when they were expecting the man of the perfect match, Kenny Omega, yeah. in Royal Rumble. John Cena had tweeted about it, and I had and, and I had Kenny Omega in my show in uh, Santiago de Chile against uh, uh, Evan Bourne, Matt Seidel. So I'm I'm known to put up some shocks. We had the Young Bucks, we had the Hardys in my in my wrestling cards in South America. We had Rey Mysterio, who created the brand Mysterio Mania <clears throat> shows. Uh, so, I, 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 you know, I've been willing to put in three or four big shows with promoters that work with me and, and give the people, you know, dream matches. Let's see what happens with that. Jose Lopez Cotto says, Hugo, thank you for your voice in wrestling. Much love. Uh, and, and, you know, we love you guys. This is my passion. I've done it for 40 years, 17 years with WWE, another 15 or more years producing and being the, the man of the mic in the Caribbean, English and Spanish, with uh, Carlitos, uh, uh, Caribbean Cool's father, Carlos Colon, and Mr. Chubica, and now just uh, bringing more new companies uh, uh, around the world, and you know, that that's what drives me. 
you know, I, I, I am very passionate about uh, the wrestling game, the wrestling business, and I love and respect uh, this industry, and I love and respect the fans. Mauricio Josue Epinosa wants to know if it was a good idea to let Cena get a pin over the WWE Champion AJ Styles. Well, the, you know, the title was not obviously on the line, and uh, you go by the storyline. You know, who wanted it more? And and that was it. If Cena did not get the win, uh, you could not go to fast lane. So you know, so you have a, you have a big situation there. You know that if you're going to follow the storyline, uh, Cena is going to get the win. It's that's also what is affecting Asuka's match that she has this streak. So you already know that in a way, creative is forced to have her win. And then if you want, if you want to go even deeper into this creative idea, you know the mixed tag of the Miss and and Asuka. You know that if, if you go by logic, you know that she cannot lose because of the streak. So th therefore, you put yourself in a bad spot with that. And then, if you knew that match was going to happen in this week, why would you have Miss the Miss, uh, who is one of your hottest commodities, lose two matches in a row uh, against uh, Balor and Rollins in Raw when he's the guy, the Miss? It's over, and you you know you you had him been beat twice in Raw the day before. The mixed tag, by the way, which we all know that he's been doing really bad in ratings, and we have also reported the fact that the brand uh, that Triple H is in charge, NXT, the past two years, it has lost uh, uh, around thirty-two million dollars. Only success being NXT Takeover, but we have commented, you know, uh, we commented on on that, and uh, a lot of people said, "Oh, there's no way," and you know, now you got the official numbers. So when I say that creative gotta get their butt, you know, in line, yeah, they, they have to because uh, you have to respect uh, the fans and you gotta give the fans, you know, good action. That's what the fans want. Robert Jamieson wants to know: Do you think the rumor of WWE doing a pay per view with a pay per view quality event at the 100,000 capacity MCG in Melbourne will happen? We have we have heard. Of, uh, uh, of that now the, the 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 question is are they going to be able to fulfill that time zones the time uh, I think that uh, they are debating I think that also Japan is on 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 their scope they had one pay per view it was called New Year's Revolution years ago in San Juan Puerto Rico sold out that event sold out uh, it was eighteen thousand people I believe it sold out in less than three weeks and it was what a great event. And the people responded. <clears throat> Tickets were not cheap. Uh, the action was solid. The fans were so good to the action of the of that pay per view. And you know, we were expecting for them to come back to the end with another pay per view, and it did not happen. So sometimes you you don't know what to think of WWE. Uh, Cesar Antonio uh, Rodriguez wants to know why Roman is the face of the WWE yeah, it's and a, not AJ Styles. I have uh, you know. It's if you look at it from the beginning of the rock and wrestling connection, the MTB years, the Hulkamania, uh, uh, it, it's Vince's creation. Uh, if you see from the way that he modernized it and took it global, you see from the creation of Hulkamania to you see that that it brings it into the uh, Hulk Hogan's and you have the the Rock and Stone Cold and then John Cena. It was it's a process. Of creating the face of your company, it's like a Coca-Cola, like a Pepsi Cola. You invest on that, and an AJ Styles was not uh, made by WWE. You know, he, he was independent, and then spent a lot of his years with uh, uh, TNA, and then you New Japan Pro Wrestling, and uh, such is the case of Rollins and other great workers. Uh, you know, if there was one exception that I believe it, it could have happened was Edge, but because of health issues, he had to retire. But other than that, we could talk about a Randy Orton, but his temperament and a lot of other situations uh, uh, did not uh, favor him to become uh, the face of wrestling. It doesn't mean that AJ Styles or Seth Rollins are not great wrestlers, but a great wrestler, uh, it's not the face of a company. 
and 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 it goes too with you know in like the Mike with with the with, with the NBA Michael Jordan even though uh, he he was part of the Chicago franchise when he was there he was the face of the NBA even though he was one you know, one team one team and that is what what uh, WWE is when you make that wrestler huge even though you might have other companies. He's the driving force behind what you know what we have to do in other companies, you know, and that's the way it has worked. And uh, uh, and whoever is selected to be the face uh, will have like 285 to 290 days sometimes in a year where there's no rest, where there's reaction, there's interviews, there's movies. So so uh, to be the face of the WWE. It's it's going on like in, like in Japan that fast train that is called the bullet train. There's no stops, baby. I mean, it is your life becomes like an express. Esteban Milenko <coughs> says, "I remember New Year's Revolution in Puerto Rico. It was insanely good." Yes. Victor M. Perez says, "AJ Styles makes his op opponent look good. That's why he is the phenomenal." Yes. 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 And I I, I agree. He's such a performer. He's uh, uh, he's a he's he respects talent and he respects the fans. And I, I am very happy. I'm very happy for him. And I, I, I and I I want to see uh, that match Nakamura and AJ Styles. You know I'm sorry about any other storyline, but I think that if you if you don't give that to the fans, uh, you're gonna be hurting your Royal Rumble. They want to know if you just compared Reigns to Jordan. No, 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 I was talking about the brands. Right. I was talking about the brands. And I use Michael Jordan as an example because of the fact that even though he belonged to one team, but his face represented NBA. And right now, like a Cena or, or now the future of WWE reigns, even though it's WWE, as, as WWE, it's the, it's the global number one company in the world, a monster of sports entertainment, whoever is the face, you know, will have the, the eye and the ears of people that, that uh, the majority of them will not know about wrestling, but they will say, oh, that, oh, that's Cena, oh, that was The Rock, that was a Stone Cold Steve Austin, oh, that's from Roman Reigns, and, you know, that, that's what used to happen in the NBA in those, in, in, in those days, uh, glor glorious days of uh, Michael Jordan, you know, not that they, we haven't had great uh, uh, basketball players besides uh, uh, Michael Jordan, but I'm just talking about the brand, the brand, the brand. Lou Amesqua says, how did SmackDown go from a wrestling show to a promo show? Only four matches in four hours. None of the matches were bad at all, but they were overshadowed by so many promos and no tag division. Okay, uh, they were working on the Usos, uh, going through that of, of disrespect of them not being on WrestleMania. And it's a, a raw, it's three hours. SmackDown is two, buddy. SmackDown is two hours. But I do agree with you. I would like to see more action. Let's talk. Okay. And Mauricio Suez says, the chair you received in WrestleMania 19 was planned, or maybe you suggested it? WrestleMania 19, Hulk, Hulk Hogan against Vince McMahon. I, I am not the one that loves to talk about the whole thing, but I would like to state that you did not suggest it. That I, I, I did not suggest it. <laughs> Absolutely and not. That the chair shot was the heavy, solid uh, uh, chair. And uh, that night, Hulk Hogan made a believer out of me. Uh, my eyes went this way. My knees collapsed. And yes, uh, I started to believe the Pythons were real of uh, Mr. Hulk Hogan. I took one for the team. That's as far as I'm going to take it there. But those were the years of attitude, you know, just precious days. We would not be here if it wasn't because of the attitude, attitude years, those attitude years. One more uh, comment, Diana. Um, Elian Edward wants to know what is that sound? You want to see her? I'll show. I'll show you what that sound is yes, right sir. here next to me. Yeah. Look who's here. That's our girl. Her that, name is Shushi. That's the bird, and that is the sound you hear. She's making all that noise. Because, that's her yeah. making noise. She is. She yeah. is 21 years old. And when I do play-by-play play and the action is hot, I say, Fuego, Fuego, Shushi, Llama Los Bomberos. That's, 
And the famous she's sushi. the one making all that noise you hear. Yeah, we just got back from uh, from Orlando, and uh, what a tremendous uh, card Lucha Conquest to the saga continues. We had uh, from Eli Drake to Chris Masters. Uh, we had Mike Knox. We had Snitsky against in an attitude match against badass Billy Gunn. We had the International Cup of NGCW, a triple threat match, dream match from Brazil. Sumbi. If you haven't seen Sumbi, he, he has that Campoeira, Campoeira uh, uh, martial arts, Brazilian style. We had Mecca Wolf from Puerto Rico, and we had Laredo Kid from uh, Mexico, uh, aerial attacks, fantastic. Mecca Wolf won, and we had nine solid matches. We had the world ladies uh, championship of the line from the company, The Crash, Lucha Libre, and uh, Lacey Lane uh, was disqualified against uh, uh, Santana Garrett. And then uh, the world champion of Coastal Championship Wrestling, Santos, lost the title against the champion from the uh, uh, Stado de Mexico in Mexico, Camelot. Camelot took the championship away. So we had like different championships on the line. And Alberto de Rio, Alberto El Patron, he, he and Carlito fought for the uh, uh, a New Generation World Championship. Plus, Alberto defended the Qatar, the Middle East, Qatar, the country of Qatar, World Championship right in Florida. So we had a historic night of different companies allowing us to have uh, our title matches. And, and like I said, today before we left, we're talking about the rematch, mandatory rematch, because Savio Vega was involved. Uh, he attacked the president of the company, he attacked me, and Alberto is a new champion, and we are... Uh, the, the whole committee of New Generation Championship Wrestling is going to force Alberto for the rematch against Carlito. And we're going to have a tremendous card. And this Sunday, it's going to be free through the Twitch page, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, United States. I'm going to be doing play-by-play -play from one of the huge events of the Mexican company, Triple A. So in Twitch, uh, Sunday, 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Time Zone, United States, from Mexico, Puebla, Mexico. I'm going to be doing the playoff, play, and it's going to be Lucha Paradise. Fantastic matches. It's called, it's called Rey de Reyes this Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern Time Zone, United States, from Puebla, uh, Mexico. And, you know, we're delighted that we were able to uh, talk to you about uh, SmackDown and a couple other things. Young Bucks are killing it with merchandise. They have their own show uh, in Chicago. We're going to try to have interviews with them. We're all in. Uh, I love the Young Bucks. They were so good to us when we have them uh, in uh, South America. We're planning to have them again. Uh, all in in Chicago. Uh, they have invited CM Punk to appear in that time. So we don't, we don't know what's going to happen. But I'm so happy to see all these great cars happening all over the place. Any more comments, Diana? Matt Hopkins says, laugh out loud about the sushi. And Lua Mesco said, yeah, I said two hours. Your wife ah! misread it. It's okay, though, but comparing to the 2016 SmackDown, last year went really bad for the Blue Brand. Ah! And this, I hope, after WrestleMania, the show gets better. Yeah, well, you know, that's what they said, that, the two, that, that there will be the two brands combined for one pay-per-view. Thank you for supporting your uh, wrestling page. Over 35 alliances all over the world of serious, passionate people that want to bring the fans, you know, the, the right and real information of what's going on in the rest of the business. So from Shushi, from uh, the Dangerous Blonde, my wife Diana, from Hugo Sabinovich, uh, you know, thank you for being with us. Uh, uh, check us out this Sunday from Puebla, Mexico, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, United States, on the page uh, Twitch, uh, through Twitch. Uh, it's going to be Rey de Reyes from, Me from Puebla, Mexico, in AAA. Great matches. So take care. Atangana.